بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا تھرڈ لرننگ پیتھ ویژولائز اینڈ اینالائز دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک اپلائی سلائسنگ اینڈ فلٹرنگ وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن کریٹ رپورٹس وی ہیو آلریڈی ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ دا فلٹر پین ان سم آف دا پریویس ویڈیوز اینڈ ایون یوز دیٹ پین بٹ لیٹس ایکسپلور دا فلٹر پین ان اے بٹ مور ڈیٹیل and then we are going to talk about the process of slicing which can be done through the slicer visual so let's go to the power bi desktop environment so let's start by first looking at the filter pane so here is the filter pane on the right side of the screen so here there are three dedicated areas the first one is the filters on this visual so i have selected this particular visual which is nothing but a table which has product brand and cost and if i select this visual then the options that i am going to see here reflect the filters on this visual so anything which is inside this visual is going to be inside the the filter card so we have the product brand and then we have the total cost and i can add more filters to this uh, area as well the other part is the filters on this page so anything on this particular page anything on this particular page 10 is actually represented by filters on this page so this is the second area and the last area is the filters on all pages so if i put something inside this particular area then it would automatically have an effect on all the pages in my report so now let's explore each of these areas one by one so if i just go and select my product brand i need to expand this particular area there is an option which says filter type and then there is a search pane and then i see the uh, certain options associated with the type of filtering that i have selected here so the, currently this is fil basic filtering so everything which is part of the product brand can be seen here so let me just select adj so you are going to see that this value actually filters the visual here so any any filter that i select here i can see the values only filtered for these values i have another option here which says advanced filtering so if in case of advanced filtering i can actually create advanced filters based on certain conditions so i can let's say consider writing contains high so i would say that okay filter all the values which have high and then if i say okay apply then every product brand which has high as part of the product brand comes here and i can have multiple conditions based on and and or logic that i can create in this particular area then i have another so if you want to just uh, go back to the original state then this is the area where which says clear filter so if i just have uh, just press this clear filter then it would take the uh take the image back to the default state and all the filters would be clear then the third option is the top n option so this is a very important option very useful option as well so here it says that you can show items based on top and if i click here i can say the bottom so i can give any value here let's say i give the value 5 and then i have an option to actually uh, put a value here so right now i have total cost as part of the visual so i can put total cost here but i can even put anything any measure here and the visual is going to be filtered based on that value so let me just first put total cost inside this area and then if i click on apply filter then i am going to see that the top five values are visible here based on the total cost value if i just change this to bottom and then apply the filter then you are going to see the bottom values and i can put pull any anything here i can even pull uh, uh, some other measure in in this area and then i can apply this particular condition and the values inside the visual the, the visual the table visual here are going to be filtered by by this partic particular condition so this was the first of the cards and this was related to the product brand and remember product brand represents a categorical value so all the options here that we saw are related to a categorical value so now let's go and explore the other card which is related to total cost and remember total cost is a measure 
so it is actually representing something numerical so here i have the option to actually show items based on a condition so i can actually say that okay just show the option the show the items which have a value of less less than 1000 and then i can say apply filter and you are going to see that all the values are now getting filtered based on the value of total cost so here the filtering is a bit different than the way than the filtering that we saw for the product brand and similarly you can have and or logic uh, as part of this particular area next i am going to put a data field here which is not a part of the data visual so let me just go and select my customer inside my customer table let me select the customer gender so i am just pulling in the customer gender here and you see that i do not see the customer gender here so it is just in the filter pane it is not inside the visual and if i just go and select the male or m value here then you can see that all the values inside the visual are filtered for the male value and you can see that the gender here is is male and even here if you come on the visual you are going to actually see this there is this funnel which is there in the on the visual and if you just put your mouse here then you are going to see that okay these are the filters and slicers affecting this visual so now we see that the gender is male is affecting this visualization so now on the same page i have added another visual which is a bar chart which is showing the total cost by the sales region so here are my sales regions and i can see all my regions here and this these bars represent the total cost so i now have two visuals here on the canvas now what i'm trying to do here is that i am going to show you the next area which is the filters on this page so anything that i pull here on the filters on this page it is going to affect every visual which is available on my canvas so previously we saw for a particular visual we can define the filters now if i put anything here then it is going to affect all the visuals which are available on my canvas so again i am going to go and i am going to bring in my gender and put it here in the uh, filters on this page and now if i select male then you can see that both of these visualizations have been filtered and now only the total cost both in both of these visuals is being shown for the male gender so everything which is associated with this sales region we are just seeing the customers who are male we are just seeing the data for those so in this way you can put the filters here on this page and then the last area which is the filters on all the pages so let's say you want to filter all the report pages with a particular value then anything that you put here it is going to filter all the pages so i'm not going to actually physically do it because this is very easy to uh, to understand but if there is a particular requirement where you want to apply a particular filter on all the pages just pull that into this particular area now we are going to look at the slicing options which i have actually told you in one of the previous videos that there is not, nothing much uh, in terms of the functionality between the slicer and the filter the same functionality is there but the important thing is that if you if you have a slicer visual on your canvas then that slicer visual is part of your report does not matter whether this report is in the power bi desktop environment in the power bi service or actually embedded as a url into an application or on the publish to web category then on, in all those options you have this option of the, of the slicer on the canvas available but these filters are not available for that particular scenario so let me just bring in a slicer visual so i can just go and i can just click on the slicer visual here so this is going to bring in my slicer visual and you can see that i can actually pull put anything that i want inside this slicer uh, slicer visual so let me just go and click on i can either click on add data here so let me just go and do it from this part and i am going to bring my same gender value here so if i bring in my gender value here you can see that i have the two values so let me just click on the male value here and 
you are going to see that the impact is the same as we did once we put the this gender inside the filters on this page but now here you can see that i can do this on my canvas and you can see that the reports are actually getting filtered based on the values that i select in this slicer so now let's quickly have a look at the at the options of formatting options which are associated with this particular visual so let me just select this particular visual and then uh, let me just go into the formatting options so now these options are associated with this slicer so some of the options we have already seen in the visuals and i'm not earlier visuals i'm not going to go into those options but i am just going to show you a few options which are specific to the slicer so here we have the option of the slicer setting so here if you come you are going to see an option which says style so currently the vertical list is selected but i am going to expand this and it is giving other options as well so a very popular option is the drop down option so if you have this drop down option here then it basically presents these slicers as a drop down so here you can see that i can change the area of this drop down so what is it is doing that it is just reducing the footprint of this particular slicer visual on the canvas which can be very important in certain scenarios then the other option is that we have a tile so if i look grow if i just select this tile option so you are going to get two buttons and these buttons are uh, very easy to you know use and you can just go and play around with these buttons but the effect of the of the uh, filtering that we do through the slicer is exactly the same then there is this option of changing the slicer header so this is the slicer header this area of gender so again the options of title font we have already seen these are some of the options that you can just go and explore these options uh, yourself so there is nothing new we have already seen this in in other values and lastly we have the values so values means anything which is inside the 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 slicer so here you can go and change the font change the color and we have al already seen these options and we can you know uh, we don't need to go and actually do that uh, to do uh, to do this here you have already done it uh, very similar to some of the other options that we have seen in some of the other visuals but specifically we had this uh, slicer setting and the slicer header if you do not want this header you can just go and and turn it off so this was all about the filtering and slicing and how you can actually bring in a slicer on your canvas and the differences in terms of the different options that we saw for both the slicers and the filters so that's all for this particular video and i'll catch up with you in the next one